Okay, I'm at an old school yard with the uh, e track. Different school. I'm just gonna run along this fence here. I think this hill here is filled dirt because I don't remember that being there forever, but we'll hug the fence all the way down and see if we can get anything. Might go out to the center a little bit too. First target. <laughs> Definitely gonna dig neat here, so. First target, bottle cap. Okay, second target, we got a coin. It's a very tiny wheat penny. Second target a weedy. But it's like the size of a dime. It's kind of weird. Not sure the date, but it's a wheat penny the size of a dime. It's an old King George Canadian. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Don't mind me, I'm just I'm talking to my camera here. <laughs> Yeah, just get a little little button or a pendant or something. Something. It's just junk though. Still waiting another weedy. Down about nine inches. 1940 something. About 10 inches now. I just got a jack. I haven't found one of these in a long time. It's annoying, but it was raining up like high 30s on the ground. I think I got in a dirt pile. Not sure what it is. Oh, I got a coin. Yeah. 1941 Weedy. It's got to be a silver around here somewhere.
piece of a harmonica reed. I think, I think that's what it is. A little rusty though. deep here. And another coin. And another weedy. Another weedy. Yep. That one's hitting pretty high. That might, that might be one. When I say one, I mean a silver coin. But you never know, sometimes they turn out to be copper. And they get deeper, you know. But every machine does that. Oh, I got a ring. Or a piece of one. Yeah. Or a smashed ring. That was pretty much my only good find today. I don't think it's silver, but it is a smashed ring. Little kid's ring. Quick wrap up. Uh, the first location at the uh, older schoolyard. I'd been there a couple times before, but I was there actually before them. Dirt Hill was over there. I looked it up on the historic aerial photos, and they were put in about year 2000. So that was 23 years ago, and I didn't think it was that long ago. But Jesus, time flies, you know. But back then it was with my old Garrett. GTA and I think the best finds was, was still a couple of wheat pennies so I was kind of baffled that all the coins that were still there along that fence you know I'm sure all these Wheaties were there when I detected there back in the day but there's the clad one King George 1945 uh, the wheats are this one's unknown I think it's a teen but did some research on Google and I guess either somebody tried to make that penny fit a dime roll and uh, there's some stories on Google about kids grinding down pennies so that they can I don't know pass it off for a dime or something I don't know that might be one of them coins because I doubt that's an error coin because it looks pretty scratched up or somebody might have ground it down anyways the wheats are well you've seen the wheats but my best one a 1931 which is uh, only 19 million minted so not as good as the 31s but still kind of a low mintage wheat penny a uh, piece of a watch I got at the old school uh, it looks like a piece of an old watch a piece of junk oh. and at the second location the other schoolyard 
I got the junk ring, this aluminum junk ring, and uh, that was it for that. It's a, a very small amount of this clad is from the second schoolyard. I got the jack at the uh, first schoolyard. That was pretty deep, old jack. I didn't bring the little harmonica reed piece in, but, but that was it. You know, maybe I'll go back to that first schoolyard again. The ground was kind of dry there, and the grass was really nice, so I was trying to do my best to dig neat. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time.